Hi. Hello. It's Make a Difference. Make a Difference? Yes, Make a Difference. Here on MBS Radio 95.4 FM every Sunday at 8 p.m. And Wednesday at uh, 9.30 p.m. Jump off your sofa. Or lay back and relax. Anywhere you are, from your radio or in your earphones. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. On MBS Radio 95.4, listen to Make a Difference. Our English-speaking program brought to you by Gina and Tom. Off, off we go. go. Good evening, uh, dear listeners of uh, MBS. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, Jean. Uh, good evening, everybody. Here we are again with our uh, Make a Difference uh, radio program. So, Tom, uh, what do we have in the menu for uh, this evening? Okay, yeah, uh, you just listened to the introduction song, Corona, mm. Rhythm of the Night. That Brazilian artist was very famous in the early 90s and was viral at that time. And tonight we will not avoid talking about COVID-19, that mm, mm. Uh, spooky virus that tends to provoke psychosis among us listeners. Mm -hmm. We'll um, talk about some facts, some news, and also uh, things that will help us fight against it. I think it's really important for us to talk about that after the Women's Day, Tom, because uh, nowadays uh, it's a kind of a rumor and it's a kind of threat to all so it's really good for us to make people know everything yes we will keep corona away from us but it takes some uh, some courage from us to be united sure after the corona highlight okay we will listen to our uh, interviewee of the day mm -hmm. uh, that young artist from the USA actually a Malagasy artist mm -hmm. who lives in mm -hmm. the USA mm -hmm. her name is uh, uh, Dumi Dumi yeah uh, Dumi is going to sing for us today as well after the interview well, right. okay, and she's gonna talk about all the process that she has followed so far. All right, uh, the song we will listen to so is then um, Do Me's Ameza. Sure, that's her first song. It was written in Malagas in the beginning, but now it's mixed. Stay tuned. I'm to hear that. And the last part of it, Jim. Yeah, as usual, we always try to uh, give you something that can enrich your knowledge in English. Today, we are going to talk about meals. Meals. Not only breakfast, no lunch only, but all the meals possible that you should know. Okay. Great. So, let's proceed with the highlights. <music> the coronavirus disease 2019, or COVID-19, that's what it stands for, has infected eight new countries and territories in areas such as Bulgaria, uh, Costa Rica, the Faroe Island, or even uh, remote islands such as uh, uh, those of Martinique in the French mm. Caribbean mm. and lately Reunion Island where four cases were confirmed. Wow, that's something really new for us to know as well. Reunion Island is very close. So let's talk about this, a short cartography mm. of the disease spread. Um, Before that, uh, Tom, yes. uh, may I ask you uh, one question? What really yes. is the difference between the coronavirus and uh, COVID-19? Actually, uh, COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. Mm. Uh, coronaviruses have existed for a long time and there were what do you mean for? What do you mean for, for a long time? The, it's a kind of virus with oh, a crown. So it, it has been there for a long time, but why was it so so sudden for us to know that in China it, uh, it has uh, already killed a lot of people just like that during the year 2019 okay. and until now? All right. Mm. The coronavirus is a virus mm. with a crown. It's got the shape of something with a crown. That's why mm. it's called coronavirus. Uh -huh. And right. it's a species of virus that existed on Earth for a long time. Mm -hmm and that provoked some epidemics such as the SARS mm. or uh, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome that mm. prevailed in the early uh, 2000s. Mm -hmm. 
but um, this one is a mutant, mm. a kind of the result of a mutation of the virus that was really uh, deadly yeah. and that could spread very quickly in the mm. world. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between uh, the any two. coronavirus and this variety, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So which one is more frightening? Uh, because I think uh, COVID-19 is spreading very fast. That's right. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, this one has become a worldwide concern. So. Mm. I think this variety of um, coronavirus is really worthy of, uh, of worrying about. Uh -huh. However, we should not pass. So now let's look at the map. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot see the map yourself, but we and Tom, we are going to try to do our best to make you know what we can see here. This is the latest update that dates back to the 8th of March mm. 2020. That we could last see that Sunday. last Sunday, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, we could see that in China, mm. where it started, it's big. It, has been contained. Mm -hmm. It's spread a little bit less than uh, less than before. Mm -hmm. But now we could see that in Europe, mm -hmm. it is a place at which it is the most widespread. Mm -hmm. We can talk about Italy, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. and uh, a few countries in Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. It could also spread to. Yeah, we can see as well here in Australia. Yes, mm -hmm. it now mm -hmm. infected the five continents. And how about uh, in the other part, in the other side of the yes. American land, uh, uh, North America and even South America as well? Here. Oh, both North America and South America are infected, mm -hmm. and even remote islands such mm -hmm. as uh, San Martin oh. in the in the Dutch Caribbean mm -hmm. or um, Martinique in the French Caribbean mm -hmm. have been infected. Mm -hmm. And Africa, where is this place? Where is this place where it's it's really full of red spots? Okay, it's in Europe. It's in Europe. Oh. They put a uh, zoom uh, into uh, Europe. Uh, yeah, and yeah, we yeah, could yeah, see yeah, that yeah. it could spread yeah. in France, in uh, Spain, in Portugal, France, Italy, in the United even Germany. Germany. Yeah. Ah, yeah. threatening man. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So that was the cartography mm -hmm. uh, in the world map of the wire, of uh, the spreading mm -hmm. of the COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, however. Uh, we should not panic mm. and we will now come to our top five five mm. facts about COVID-19 what are they because we really need us. to know them yes of course we can rely on God mm, we sure. can rely on the government mm. but I think good teamwork mm. working together mm. and uh, Mm -hmm. Good discipline can help us fight mm -hmm. against the virus mm -hmm. and to prevent it from spreading into our country. Fact number one. Diseases can make anyone sick, regardless of their race or ethnicity. Mm. So, uh, people of Asian descent, including Chinese American or mm. Chinese Malagasy, mm. are not more mm. likely to get COVID-19 mm. than any other Malagasy. Mm. Um, so, help stop fear by letting people know that being of Asian descent does not increase the chance of getting the spreading of COVID-19. Mm. We are all exposed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and number two, some people are at increased risk of uh, getting COVID-19. People who have been in close contact with a person known to have uh, COVID-19 or people who live in or have recently been in an area with uh, ongoing spread are at an increased risk of exposure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the second one. The second one. The third. Fact number three, mm -hmm. someone who has completed quarantine or has been released from isolation does not pose a risk of infection to other people. And for Madagascar, uh, we could see that there are a lot of people in quarantine now at Malagasy Hospital. Yes, I heard uh, something like uh, at uh, Anusiala, Anusiala or Anusiala. Yes. W what about in Madagascar is Anusiala? Uh, it's so around uh, Amuja Jim, I think. Yes. Ah, it's, it's not that from, far from Tana. It's not that far from Tana. Oh. But don't panic. Mm. It's the normal procedure to put people in quarantine mm. in order to prevent the disease from spreading into Madagascar. So people in quarantine are not necessarily infected. So mm. do not panic, please. And do not exaggerate to uh, make it worse. Because uh, we can see as well some people who don't know anything at all. And they try to share fake things about it. Fact number four. You can help stop COVID-19 by knowing the signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. mm, the symptoms are fever, mm -hmm. cough, shortness of breath, 
and seek medical advice if you develop symptoms, have been in close contact with a person who is known to have COVID-19, or if you live in or have recently been in an area with ongoing spread of COVID-19. And that is really the big question, uh, Tom, because uh, now we are approaching the cold season. Yes. And uh, most of the time uh, during that season, we uh, may have fever, cough, or uh, sometimes also uh, this uh, shortness of breath. What to be done? Don't be afraid to be tested. Mm. Go and see a doctor mm. and be reasonable, please. Uh, if, um, if someone is infected, if you have been in contact with someone uh, who has been infected, mm. I wish <laughs> it will never happen. Mm. But let's not panic. Mm. Let us just do what is necessary and keep on thinking about not spreading the, um, mm. the COVID-19. And the last one, uh, there are simple things you can do to help keep yourself and others healthy. Uh, washing of your hands, uh, weave soap and water for at least uh, 20 seconds. It's not just like uh, you rinse your hands or uh, just like that, but uh, you should take a little bit of time yes. uh, when you wash your hands with uh, soap. Yeah, and washing your hands helps not only with COVID-19, mm. but to prevent other diseases. That does mean that uh, we Malagasy people, we have the ritual of shaking hands. That does mean that, uh, okay, we just do like the Americans, hi, hello, and then you don't <laughs> shake hands. But make sure that your hands are clean. <clears throat> okay, the next one is avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Okay. That's also part of washing your hands. Stay home when, uh, when, when, when you are you. sick and cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Then throw the tissue in the trash. All right, it's all about cleanliness and hygiene. Good discipline, good hygiene, mm. and uh, cooperation will help us fight against it. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, don't panic. panic. So now, uh, dear listeners, we are coming to the interview. Uh, we are going to talk with uh, a lady, a beautiful lady, okay. a Malagasy lady. Yes. Uh, she now lives in America. She continues her study over there, but she's a real artist and musician. Her name is Dumi. Go. Hello and welcome to Make a Difference, Dumi. Hi, Gina. Thank you for having me here. I'd like to thank you for coming here. So to start with, could you introduce yourself, please? My name is Dumi. It's spelled D-O-U-M-I-E. Um, I was born and raised in Madagascar and moved to the USA in 2010. Um, I've been here for school and work and I'm an artist musician. You are among many uh, talented Malagasy living abroad. Could you tell us how you started? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, we have been um, a musical family. I mean, my dad and my mom sing, my sister sing. I used to be in a choir when, when, you know, at church. And um, I've always loved singing. And when I was little, I used to pretend doing, I don't know if you know, Pazapa at home with my cousins and friends. So. You know, I have always been in love with music, but I think I had developed the love more when I left home um, because that nostalgic feeling made me more attached to whatever was musical around me when, you know, when I was when I was here by myself. So um, I started being friends with musicians and artists and um, I just feel like being surrounded and inspired by grounded people helps me keep going. So, yeah. Well, do you write your songs or someone does for you? And uh, are all of your songs in English or are there Malagasy ones? How about your musicians? Um, yes, I mostly write all my songs. Um, I started doing covers for Rakutu in Dayan, uh, Eric Manana, Tsferan, um, and those are all in Malagasy. Um, I also write my I wrote my first single uh, that I ever composed in 2017. It was called Amaza. Um, but most of my songs that I'm working on right now are in English. Um, I have a producer that I'm working with closely. His name is Seiya. 
Um, I play the guitar, but I also have uh, some songs that I've done in the past where uh, some of my fellow brothers from Madagascar played on, so it was fun. Where have you already performed so far? Oh, um, my wish is um, to perform Madagascar someday with uh, my fellow artist friends. Um, I love being surrounded by Malagasy people, but it's just a different energy. Um, but here, I've performed to quite a few venues. Uh, yeah, so. Dumi, may we know about your objectives as a musician? It's simple, um, to inspire and to give peace to souls that need it. Um, it is mostly to give positive energy and um, I want to reach as much souls as I can and you know, the more the better. I'm really really impressed with all that you have achieved. Do you think of taking it to Madagascar one day? Uh, yes, I have always been planning on that but I'm definitely wanting to do showcases there. I'm waiting for people to finally work with me to make this happen um, because it's been uh, one of one big desire of mine. I've had a few people that wanted to work with me, but it didn't quite work out for us um, based on a few reasons. But I'm really wanting to go there and visit with you all. My next question is, what are your projects? Um, projects? Yes, I have a new song called Satisfaction. Um, that is up now on all platforms. I have it on Spotify, Apple Music, and other music platforms. Um, but mainly on Spotify, it's hit 10,000 streams already within three weeks. So that was huge for me. And I mean, it was really big because it's my first single out on Spotify. And I have an EP, um, which is a mini album that's coming out in April. Uh, and it's called Butterfly. It's gonna have a couple of Malagasy songs in there, uh, so get ready for it. Um, it's gonna have a few, you know, inspiring, cool uh, English songs. I chose Butterfly because um, people call me Gassy Butterfly um, back home, so I chose that. And uh, that's gonna come out with a music video of Ameza, um, a different version of Ameza, so exciting. What are your challenge to young people in Madagascar? Um, you know, I've always lived by do not be afraid to be different and um, do what makes you shine, uh, what's on your way, what's meant to be on your way, so yeah, always just do your best and don't be afraid to fail. So that's my challenge for you. So nice of you, Dumi. It's a real privilege to have you on our radio program, Make a Difference here on MBS. It's a great pleasure for me to be here uh, on your radio. We would say goodbye and uh, God bless you through all of your careers. Thank you so much. If you want to connect with me, my Instagram is Dumi, D-O-U-M-I-E. And my Spotify is Dumi. My name is all the same um, on Apple Music. It's Dumi as well. Um, so, yep. Thank you. That was great. Thanks. Bye. Well, that is our friend Dumi, Tom, Dumi. right? It's really very interesting to know about her. Okay, and to know more about her, she's available on Spotify. You can stream her on Spotify, and I will try to send the link on our podcast, so stay tuned. Of course, all right, okay, yeah. Uh, I would like to say thank you again, Dumi, for uh, accepting to be talking on our radio this evening. Okay, thanks a lot, Dumi. And, um, your next song, Satisfaction, Satisfaction, will be issued in April, is that right? Yes, uh, Satisfaction, that's for you again, ladies and gentlemen. Another very beautiful song of Doomy. Another Do lady to follow. Yeah, and she's good in uh, playing guitar. Let me tell you, Tom, I've already seen you know, her uh, live uh, on, uh, on FB. Oh my goodness, she's really doing so great. So not only she's a good singer, but she's also a good musician, okay? So we Malagasy, we are really proud of her. Yes, and I appreciate those people who 
compose their own song, yeah. playing the the instrument themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a complete artist. She's a full artist. A big challenge for all younger Malagasy artists, all Malagasy uh, uh, performers, uh, because uh, you know you can do something. I don't know at her age she already could really work with uh, a lot of great musicians, uh, great songwriters, and uh, she's really expecting. That. And don't forget that she also would like to work with uh, uh, great or big composers here in Madagascar, and uh, she would like to come back to Madagascar to uh, to sing her songs as well, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Thanks again, Dumi. Now let's move on to the song. The song and also the song of Dumi. Dumi. Okay, entitled Ameza. Let's go. You call me up on nights like that. Your love is strong, the boy I like that. My heart is. Bounding beat is so fast Let me fix my hair up And I'll be right back You know I will move the mountain just for you And I will kiss my dad goodbye just to be with you You know I will move the mountain just for you And I will kiss my dad goodbye just to be with you so much the voice great one mm. and the yes. song and the song mm. Ambeza. I'm sure that is a Malagasy but uh, it's a kind of a dialect okay yes yeah. I think it's Malagasy for give me yeah sure yeah mm -hmm. and uh, why Tom would you mind explaining a little bit uh, you know uh, how the song was written okay Ameza was originally written during a trying time the first version of it that's on YouTube right now was released in 2017 and is in Malagasy. Mm. The new version is mixed between English and Malagasy because the people wanted to understand it and also wanted to sing in Malagasy. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind it is not specifically for anyone but uh, mostly for all lovers that are ready to do everything and anything for the person they love. Let us read the, some of the verses. This one I like so much. I would be there whenever you need me, long distance. 
It's you for me. I'll be there wherever you want me. Real love fits in the heart of who wants it. Oh, mm -hmm. a song from the heart from a person in love. Sure. Okay, so, so it means that the girl is in pain and, and the guy is the relief. She wants the guy to understand that uh, she would do anything for him. Oh, right. That's really nice. Oh, huh? Yeah. All right. Every guy is, uh, you know, expects such a thing. It's really asking for something and uh, really, you know, caring about someone. Okay, yeah, and the Malagasy one here it goes Ameza fitiavana la vidi yanaku ni mangidi Ameza fitiavana feno mamina yanaku ampitskina Ameza, yes, of give course, me. All right. Oh, give me yeah. that, that kind of love Alright, it's a very beautiful song, right? Beautiful song Thank you so much, uh, Dumi, for uh, playing that song for us on uh, Make a Difference tonight Ameza, Ameza Yavana la What's today's hint? Today's hint, uh, it's gonna be talking about um, meals. Let's move to that. What meals do we have on the menu tonight? Okay, on the menu tonight, we have meals as meals. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right, I would like to uh, make people know, make you, dear listeners, know, make all of us know, okay, even you and me, Tom, things about meals, the different kinds of meals we need to know, all right? Yes. Okay, of course, you know breakfast, that is the first meal of the day, okay? Yes. Yeah. And uh, lunch, that is the meal that we eat at uh, midday. And the dinner, the main meal of the day, often uh, considered as a formal meal. Yes. And uh, the supper, uh, which is the evening meal. Okay. okay but but how about luncheon? Luncheon. Okay. It is the formal uh, word for lunch. Yeah, okay. sure. Okay. Uh, and it's just so the, the the thing that you uh, what I mean is even the way you eat is as well. Like, it is much more formal. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, brunch. Meal that serves as breakfast and lunch together. Uh, together, and that's brunch. Okay. But this one is very typical. Eleven C's. Eleven C's. Yeah, uh, that is particularly uh, in the United Kingdom. Eh? Mm. Eleven C's is a meal. I uh, don't know. No, it's, it's it's a snack that you eat at around eleven a.m. Okay. Right? Eleven C's. All right. It's in. It's only in the UK that you may see that. Okay. We need also to create something like here in Madagascar, like uh, the Liam Sivier. Oh, Liam yeah. Sivier. Yeah, yes. Liam Sivier. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna eat uh, like a maize with milk, or I don't know. Huh? Well, uh, oh, why not? Or like the French or, people or when composé? they say, oh yeah, uh, uh, well, oh yeah, right. all right. <laughs> and like the French people when they say to eat their quatre. Quatre, oh, yeah, yeah. quatre, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and the next one is appetizer, in UK S E R, mm -hmm. and in the USA it ends up with Z. E R. It is a small portion of food before a meal. This kind of a slight difference between the, the, the names, but uh, you know, when you talk about snack, appetizer, all those things, it's kind of a little stuff that you eat before you know the main meal, all right? Yeah, okay, see. and uh, yes, yeah, so this is very popular, very famous snack. snack. Okay, it's something um, small to eat. Okay. Yeah, but it's not as small as that in the US now, all right? Because <laughs> they like really something big, big extra, all yes. right, as a snack. So, something small, that's the question. Well, all right, the next one. The fourth meal or midnight snack. Hmm. A meal that you eat at midnight. Yeah, sometimes you wake up at night and head to the fridge. Hmm? Many youngsters, they stay up late at night and wait for that fourth meal okay. or midnight snack. Before going to bed. <laughs> All right. You know, just for your health, don't stay up late at night. Yes. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we can offer to you today. Okay. So, Tom, time to say... Goodbye and sleep early, please. Bye-bye. Hi. Hello. It's Make a Difference. Make a Difference? Yes, Make a Difference. Here on MBS Radio 95.4 FM every Sunday at 8 p.m. And Wednesday at uh, 9.30 p.m. 
jump off your sofa, or lay back and relax anywhere you are, from your radio or in your earphones. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned on NBS Radio 95.4. Listen to Make a Difference. Our English speaking program brought to you by Gina and Tom. Off, off we go. go.